What's up guys, Will H back with another video. So today we're taking a look at the new A25 smartphone. So new send this out to me for a review. So big shout out to them for sending it over. Now this is up for pre-order right now. The price is uh, $169.99 and you can get it in two different colors. We'll get into it. So let's take a look at some of the features and details before I open the box up. So I got my tablet over here. We're going to stroll through and just read some of this stuff. Uh, the price is $169.99, like I said. Uh, here's some more of the specs. It's going to come in jet black and champagne gold. So you got your two different colors. Great looking device there, in my opinion. We're going to get it out of the box and check it out in person. So this has a su superior display quality. This has a 6.7 inch AMOLED Full HD Plus display. It's going to be great for watching your videos, photos, and playing games. It also has a 120 hertz refresh rate. The process in here is going to be uh, the G99, Helio G99 processor. You got 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. But you can also uh, expand the storage uh, because it has a micro SD card slot as well. Now your cameras on here, you got triple cameras on the back. You got a 50 megapixel. Uh, main shooter, you got a 2 megapixel macro camera, and you also have a VGA bokeh camera. Now I'm going to have to find out if this shoots in 1080, 4K, uh, what resolution it allows you to shoot in. Uh, you also have a 8 megapixel front facing selfie camera. Uh, AI camera that's able to recognize 12 different kinds of objects, subjects, and scenery which that's pretty cool. You also have a pro mode on here where you're going to be able to control stuff like your ISO and white balance. Uh, just talking about the selfie camera. Now out of the box, this is running Android 13. Not sure it's good, if it's going to be able to upgrade to Android 14. If you got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, should be all day battery right there. And here's some of the other specs. You got a 2.2 gigahertz octa-core processor. Dual SIM support, 4G LTE, and here's some of the bands that it works on right here. If you guys want to pause that and read it, you got an end display fingerprint ID, and I think that's pretty much it, guys. We'll anything we find out different, we'll get in, into it after we get the phone and uh, test it out for a little while. But here's the packaging that it comes in. You got the black and the gold on the front of it there. Uh, newmobile.com is there and then on the back it gives you some more information there uh, there's some more of the uh, GSM information right there if you guys can see that and I think that is pretty much it so very nice packaging very neat presentation here let me get my knife out and, and we'll unbox this alright guys so we're back in unboxing knife is out let's go ahead and get this little film cut here so we can take a look at this device so I've worked with new in the past before it's been a long long time and they reached out to me and asked me would I like to check out this device and I said sure so here we are now let's see how we get into this box so here's the little tab right here I was trolling myself there for a second and here we are so in the packaging there you're gonna get your you got a SIM card ejection tool right here. You're going to get your cable, charging cable, which is white, type C to type C. We also get a charging brick for $169, $170. Buck. We get a charging brick. Uh, this is, uh, look like an 18 watt charger. And then we got the device. Woo, that looks good, man. Wow. That is nice, kind of a beige color. Let's see what else we got in here. It says champagne gold. Let's see if we got anything else in the packaging. So there's a case in here. So they give us a case as well. You get some new stickers. So there's the stickers, look great. You get your, uh, your start guide here, quick start guide. And then you get a clear case. So that is awesome, 169 70 bucks right there. So let's get this stuff out of the way and we'll come right back. All right guys, so we're back in, got all of that stuff cleaned up. Here's the device, not very heavy, feels very nice in the hand. 
some type of metal here. It's not going to collect a lot of fingerprints. The color, champagne gold, is actually very beautiful. Very subtle gold. It's not like it's popping in your face there. It's almost like a, a cream color here. So you got your 50 megapixel shooter here, your 2 megapixel uh, macro, and your uh, bokeh camera right there, uh, VGA. Uh, you got your flash, and you got a little bit of branding right there, a little wording right there, 50 megapixel AI camera. You got new right there as well, this side. You're going to have your volume up and down, your power button. Kind of raised up a little bit at the bottom. You got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You got a mic, charging port, and a speaker. This side, you got your micro SD card slot. At the time, you got at the top, you got another mic. And as you guys see, it's very thin. Definitely not going to pick up a lot of fingerprints. Let's get this sticker off. And here's the display. Look like it goes edge to edge. Let's see if we got any power. I felt a vibration, and there it is, it's firing up. Let's look at the boot up on it. New, powered by Android. And let's see what the boot up is here. Very colorful. Trying to see if there's a stream protector. I think there's a stream protector installed already. And there it is. Here's the startup display. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my information in, and then we'll come back. All right, guys, so we're back in. I put some of my information in the phone. Uh, I have not added any apps or anything on here, so this is straight out of the box right here. As you guys see, the display looks very nice. Goes almost edge to edge, and I'm just impressed by how light this device is. You know, you got your earpiece up there. I forgot to mention that earlier. I did change it from the buttons to the swipe gesture, so you go over here, this is going to be, I think they call this your Google feed. I'm not exactly sure what they call it now. Swiping down, this is going to be your notification panel here. I still have it in a light theme. I haven't changed it to dark. So then you got your quick toggles here. You're going to have stuff like Bluetooth, flashlight. Uh, let's go back if we go over. Uh, you got your battery saver. Uh, stream record stuff like that and of course you know you can edit this uh, and choose whatever you want there night light hot uh, hot spot color inversion dark theme I'm gonna put it in dark theme after a bit but uh, that's the drop down menu and then if we go into what's on the device of course you're gonna have your Google stuff there YouTube you know you got your Play Store Gmail you got assistant calculator camera Got an FM radio on here. You got some new stuff on here as well. So, you know, that's what you got there. And then uh, if we go to go to the settings, settings. So here's in the settings. You got uh, your network and internet connect uh, device, your apps here. So you can go, you know, check out what you need for your apps. You got your notifications. This is your, where you can go in and adjust stuff like that. Battery, you know, you can see your battery management, battery percentage, battery usage, your storage. So out of the box, it's using 15 gigabytes of storage. I haven't added anything here. You guys see right there. Uh, sounds and vibration, so you can control, you know, whatever you want here. Set your different ringtones, whether you want your dial pad, your screen locking, you know, different things like that. Display, um, I got it on 30% uh, brightness. It's pretty bright so far. Uh, I got it, uh, like I said, I haven't changed it to, to uh, dark theme yet. Uh, you got your color mode and temperature out of the box. It's on Vivid, and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It's on the dynamic setting right here. Uh, balance smoothness and battery life with a max refresh rate of 120. You can put it on high, leave it on that all the time, or you can put it at 60, whatever you want to do there. That's display. You got your wallpapers, so you can theme it. You can set your grid. You can go in and check your wallpapers. So you got your Google wallpapers, and then you're going to have the ones that's on the device. It's set to this one already. There's another one right here. Here's one right here. That's a very colorful one. This one's pretty weird. You got that straight black one there, and then you got this one. So 
I think I'm just going to leave it on what's it the one that's on right now just for the purpose of this like I said this is the first impression you got your accessibility security privacy location safety and emergency password accounts digital well-being and parent parental control Google door speed kind of remember this from another uh, phone that I had door speed helps boost the foreground out by restricting background apps some notification may be postponed or not received DuraSpeed does not restrict background activity of apps switched on in the list. So it is owned by de default. Uh, your system here, like I said, I changed it from uh, the buttons to the gestures. Uh, here's the system update. Uh, it's updated up to August the 5th. Let's go back out. Let's go to about. And android 13 uh security update is like i said august the 5th right there so yeah that's pretty much it right there guys as far as uh, the first look and impressions i'm going to take a look at the cameras uh as far as photos and videos i'm going to put my met mobile card in here and use it for phone calls and stuff and i'll come back and let you guys know what i think about this device very good looking device here uh, feels pretty good in the hand. So the fingerprint sensor works great as well. You guys see it gives you a very colorful fingerprint pad, landing pad there. And as you guys see, it works really well for a device of this size, uh, this price range. So just get right in. Now it has facial recognition as well. And I haven't set that up, but in the full review, I'll uh, take a look at it. Here's a little comparison to the size with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, you guys see it's just about as long as this, not quite as thick as that, but I got a case on that. Here it is next to my Google Pixel Fold. So you guys see it's quite a bit taller than the Google Pixel Fold. And let's go ahead and put this case that they gave us that came in the box on here and take a look at it. So here it is in the case. You guys see? Very nice case that, that they give us right there. There's, you know, a lot of these companies not a, are not putting them in there, but uh, so far I like the feel of it in the hand. The display looks great and we'll see. So I'll come back and let you guys know what I think about it. Link is in the description if you want to go over and read about it or pre-order. Will H, I'm out.